Justice looks different to each family. For a wife and daughter in Jefferson County, the fight is just beginning. We need to make change to these laws. We need to make sure that we get these rogue drivers off the road. DM Miller came to court Tuesday to ask a judge to not reduce the bond for the truck driver accused of killing her husband. A driver investigators say who operated a big rig without a proper commercial driver's license. My husband would be alive today if there was more accountability on, on the truckers on the road and there isn't. She and her daughter Michelle are grieving the loss of Scott Miller. He died last week in the crash on Highway 285 when Ignacio Cruz Mendoza lost control and dumped his heavy load onto the road. If his death is going to mean anything, it's going to mean that people are more aware and that truckers as a profession are more careful. They're frustrated to learn the trucking company involved in this crash has a history of violations. A few years ago, inspectors at least twice found drivers didn't have the proper license. There's just a lot of things that are falling through the cracks to make sure that our drivers that are on the roads are safe. Safety is something Scott valued. The irony of my, my father's death is that um, he was a truck driver. It was of his utmost uh, concern the safety of the truck drivers that drive really heavy big rigs up in the mountains. Scott died on his way home from the grocery store. His family is fighting so everyone else can be safe in the mountains. We want to make some positive changes for other people and we don't want anybody else to ever go through this. Today, Cruz Mendoza was formally charged with four misdemeanors. The district attorney's office could file more charges after State Patrol wraps up its investigation. Tom. So there's more to come. All right, thanks for following this for us, Kelly.